Good evening beer fans, it's me again, another episode of Beer Dad. Now today we're going to be reviewing um, an Adnams beer, um, tell you a little bit about the Adnams brewery. It was first established in 1872 when George and Ernest Adnam bought the um, Soul Bay Brewery in South Wold in Suffolk. Um, they knock out about 85,000 barrels of beer a year. Um, they do a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, broadside, um, Explorer, Ghost Ship, um, which is what we're going to be looking at tonight, and the South Wall Bitter, and also they also do a one called East Green, which is a carbon neutral beer. And I've had that; and that's really nice. If I can find it, well, I will review that one for you. Um, until nineteen fifty three, and then for, again from seventy till two thousand and six. They delivered their beer by horse and dray to six local pubs. And the only reason they stopped doing it was because they opened up a distribution centre a few miles away from the uh, the brewery. So that put pay to that. Um, nice little touch there, I think. Still have doing you know, the old traditional way of horse drawn wagons with kegs on the back. Um, the distribution centre, by the way, as a, as, a, as a funny little aside, has the largest living roof in the UK. Basically, it's covered in grass. Um... It's called the Sky Garden. Anyway, right, getting back to this ghost ship. Ghost ship is a uh, well it was um, available. It used to be available. It's a seasonal ale. It used to be available from uh, May to October, but since two thousand and twelve, it's become an all year round job. So here it is. Now you can buy this in everywhere: Tesco's, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, ASDA, um, probably Waitrose. I would imagine. Um, it is a ghostly pale ale. It weighs in at four and a half percent. There's the lid. I'm gonna look at it. There it is. Okay. Um, inspired by the eerie wreck of the old smuggling ships on the Suffolk coast, this ghostly pale ale has um good assertive, a pithy uh, bitterness with a malty backbone, and a lemon and lime aroma. All right. Now I've had this before. As I say, if I've had them, I'll tell you. If I haven't had them, I'll tell you I've not had them. I've had this before and I quite like this. Um, so that's that open. They're gathering. Nice little glass. Again, liberated. Never stolen. So, let's see what it looks like. This was available in Tesco, let's say, as part of the four for six pound deal that I got at the weekend. This is the last one of that, that deal. Because um, mm -hmm. I've drank them. So tomorrow we're doing some stuff that's not in any deals, but they're, they're available, widely available. Um, and they're a little bit more expensive. It's the sort of £2 a can, £2 a bottle mark. Um, but they're very interesting and, and something to look forward to. So, see what it smells like. Oh, that's nice. Very, you, can you can smell the citrus and you can smell the malt in it as well. I say it's fairly clear. A little bit of fizz in it. That helps. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Now that is nice. That's very nice actually. It's really light. Be a good little summer ale this one. Um, very easily easily drinkable. Good, potentially good session ale. Pretty good. Yeah, very, very good. Out of 10, it's a solid 8. Um... To be fair, I can't think of much wrong with this one anymore. I'd give it an 8. But an 8 it is. It's very, uh, it's very good. This is the type of stuff that we should all be drinking. Um, none of your fizzy lagers. I think as um, hard-working British people, um, British men and women, I think we deserve beers of quality. I think we deserve beers of taste. And beers of stature. Um, we're crying out for um, ales that sleep the thirst after your hard working day. And challenge um, not only your taste buds, but also challenge the mediocrity of your everyday canned beer. So when you go to the shops at the weekend, 
or if you go to go the off license from on a Friday night and you go to buy yourself four cans of Carlin or four cans of Stella or four cans of Strongbow Cider just think I'll tell you what I'll have something a little bit different try something a bit different pick a beer off the shelf that looks it's got a funny label on it or a funny name if you go into the pub try a pint of real ale that's got a funny name in it you know sort of a speckled hen um, thirsty ferret um, bishop's finger that stuff try that because as I said in previous videos the pubs are, the pubs are, are dying and the, the microbreweries and the, and, the, and the the ordinary breweries are suffering because of this so just throw it all away have a taste it might just change your life so hail to the ale See you later.